Justice, Legal, and Parliamentary Affairs Minister Ziambi Ziambi has stated that the European Union Election Observer Mission EUEOM should never exceed its mandate by meddling in domestic affairs and telling Zimbabwe how its institutions and legal systems should be set up. But they should limit their observations to what they would have seen in the election time. At a press conference held in Harare yesterday, Minister Ziambi responded to the EU-EOM final report on the harmonized elections held August 23 to 24. He stated that Zimbabwe will continue to communicate with the EU through the formal political dialogue platform between the two parties, even after the bloc released a report on the elections that the government has deemed to be misleading and biased. The final report on Zimbabwe's elections, which was issued by the Observer team on Friday, has drawn criticism for its attempts to undermine state institutions and prejudice against the opposition. People come to watch. Thus, when observers encounter a group of individuals who did not adhere to the legal criteria for their gatherings, they merely observe and record what that specific individual has stated. Similarly, they will simply take note of any group of people who claim that the other side is acting in an illegal manner regardless of whether the accusation goes against the law. That is the main goal of observation. Minister Ziambi clarified that election observers are not the same as election monitors. As a government, we are genuinely taken aback by the observers' belief that they are either law-changing agents or monitors. Despite their flaws, he claimed that Zimbabwe's elections on August 23rd and 24th were the most tranquil in the nation's history. Election day was a pretty calm day. It was fairly quiet during the campaigns. However, there can never be a contestation process involving two or more persons without occasional battles. That kind of stuff is not possible. He declared that the nation will not abandon its official relations with the EU and would carry on holding talks with the organization regarding the nation's plan to settle its debt and pay off its arrears. Regarding the final report's implications for Zimbabwe's debt relief plan and re-engagement, we maintain that the elections were held peacefully, in accordance with the law, and with a high degree of credibility. All political parties were present in the National Results Collation Room at the National Command Center, and not a single election result from any of the constituencies was contested by any of them. With the exception of one party's representative, who claimed he was instructed not to sign the results and, as a result, was unable to do so. Section 93 of the Constitution is extremely clear regarding what to do when results are challenged. We discovered that every council member had been sworn in since in this particular election. No one contested any of the results, and everyone agreed with them. All of the MPs were sworn in after they accepted the results of the National Assembly. Not a single one of them objected or contested the outcome. We are confident that the government's engagement procedure for debt clearance will proceed as planned. The Minister of Finance is in charge of it. And we will meet with all parties concerned, stated Minister Ziambi. He clarified that the terms of reference of the talks were never that the negotiations could not proceed if the opposition wins. It seems that we will converse with them, present all the available information, and beg them to carry on from where we left off prior to the general elections. He noted that all applicable national laws were followed when holding the harmonized elections. Minister Zambi stated that the government was now concentrating on development in order to realize Vision 2030. I want to leave you with the message that we think we are now at a point where we take note of the observer reports and we will take into consideration those findings that we think would improve our electoral procedures and strengthen our democracy. But at this stage, the government is now focusing on ensuring that we deliver on our commitments and national development strategies. Minister Ziambi also stated government has cause to think that the EU and SADC reports on Zimbabwe's elections could have been created by the same consultant. I agree that the findings from the EU and the SADC are extremely similar. There are significant differences between the two and the African Union EU. However, the author of the EU reports and the SADC report was the same person. It is evident from reading the two that the drafters were there in the same room. 
As we previously stated, we determined that these studies were likely completed by a single consultant even before receiving the preliminary report. The issues raised by those who were consulted generally followed a similar pattern. We concur that a pattern existed. Medical.